In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus AgNO3. This is sodium phosphate plus silver nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. Looks like if we put a 3 and a 3 there, that would be a balanced molecular equation. After that, we need to write the states for each of these substances. Sodium compounds are very soluble, so put a little AQ for aqueous, that's going to dissolve in water. Nitrates, very soluble, put a little AQ after that. Sodium compounds again and nitrates, that's going to be definitely soluble. But this silver phosphate, phosphates usually aren't soluble unless they're bonded to a group 1 metal or ammonium ion. But let's take a look at the solubility table, see what we can find. So here's silver right here, and here's the phosphate ion. So if we go over and down, that I means it's insoluble. It won't dissolve. So we actually have a solid in our test tube, a precipitate. So we can just put an S for solid after the silver phosphate. Okay, so we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions. And this is going to be the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. So if we look on the periodic table, sodium in group one, that has a one plus charge. The phosphate ion, something you should remember, always has a three minus ionic charge. So I could write Na plus, and I have three of them because of that subscript, plus I have the one phosphate ion, PO4, three minus. This silver nitrate, silver, although it's a transition metal, it always has a one plus ionic charge. And the nitrate, that's always one minus. So we could say we have Ag plus, that's the silver ion, and we have three of those, plus the nitrate, NO3 minus, this three applies to everything, so we have three of those as well. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. So here we said plus and minus, so we have three Na plus ions, those sodium ions, and three nitrate ions, NO3 minus, plus we have this silver phosphate, and it's a solid. So with net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids, liquids, or gases. So it's just going to be Ag3PO4, and that will just be a solid. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out what are called spectator ions. They're on both sides, on the reactants and the products. So we're going to cross those out because really they haven't changed. We have three sodium ions here, and in the products, three sodium ions. We're not interested in those. We're interested in what changed. Looks like we have three nitrate ions in the reactants and three in the products. We can cross those out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus AgNO3. We have our phosphate ion, three silver ions, and then silver phosphate. That's a solid. Let me clean it up. We'll come back with a nice, neat net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus silver nitrate. So this is the net ionic equation for the sodium phosphate plus silver nitrate, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.